today we'll be creating a social media post using Adobe stock images. And I'm also going to teach you how to schedule it using the Adobe Express content scheduler. We're going to start off from a template. Let's go into Instagram stories. There are so many different templates to start off. Create from this template. We have this nice New York City template. Make it into our own. Resize this to a post. Do the Instagram portrait size with one click. It's resized to the dimension you need. Layout, put in three photos. And we're just going to replace it with photos. Go into these different cells here and we're going to add a photo. So we're gonna go into the photos tab and here you'll see all of the different photos that are being directly pulled from the Adobe stock photo collection. San Francisco. We have so many different images to choose from. Click on one of these photos, pop it maybe on this top one right here. Click on it and then on the switch here let's select add to background and now it's added to the background and then you can drag it around you can zoom in you can rotate click on this photo and then hit replace and then it will pull up the photo tab anything that the previous photo had and we'll apply it to the new photo so you can see it already snapped into the background and we're going to move on to the text change up the text and do individual text box instead so that we have full control over the text and spacing put a filter on them click on the image toggle the filter on, it'll automatically select the duotone, but you can choose any filter that you want. This one already has a darkened. Now we're going to replace this in between text here to see. Click on the shapes tab and the I want to put like little airplanes and like um, little dotted lines on the side. Plane. Let's just put in this design asset and then let's change the color to white just so we can see it. I like this one. I'm gonna make this white as well. Next thing we're gonna do is change the fonts of all of this. And so this is where Adobe fonts come in. As Adobe Express users, you have access to the almost the entire Adobe font library, but you can also upload your own custom font. All you have to do is just bring down the drop down menu over here. And if you click add fonts, you can upload your own. Let's just click on this one. Feel like the pictures are really bleeding together. So when I'm thinking it from a mobile perspective, if I'm posting this to like say Instagram or something, if I zoom out, it just looks like it kind of bleeds in together. So add in a little bit of a border here. As you can see, when I'm moving the slider here, it is adding a border around each of the images. Change up the colors a bit. I made everything white so that we can see what everything looks like. But now this is where Adobe Color comes in. Click on the Color tab. Here. Here. It'll show you a bunch of different color palettes pulled directly from Adobe Colors. Just click on a classic. Let's just go for it. And when I clicked on view all, it just gives me so many more color palettes. It's just switching between different colors. The great thing about color palettes is you don't have to stick to what it gives you. You can actually, let's say I wanna change the color of the planes or like this text right here. It's a little bit too much yellow in the middle. I can switch out any of these colors as I please. Now, once I have this, this is like an Instagram portrait. Let's go ahead and duplicate this page, resize them. And we're going to, let's say, make this a story. And as you can see, we have some extra space on the sides, but that's totally fine. Just head over to layout, click on this, and then it resizes it again. And then from there, you can just move all the assets freely again. We can just pretty much go ahead and schedule it. So let's go over to up here. There's a little calendar icon here where it says, if you hover, it'll say schedule your posts to social media. So let's go ahead. Now it'll automatically load in the page that I was on. Since this is for Instagram, we have all of the social channels up here. Right now, the scheduler takes Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. All you have to do is just connect all of your accounts before scheduling a post. We'll click on the, the Instagram icon thingy, and then we are going to put in a caption, which I have saved off to the side. Check out my latest blog post on things to do and places to eat in San Francisco, California. And then this also has emoji support. So we'll put like a little sun over there. Whereas if, let's say, if I'm posting to Twitter or Facebook, you can post links in the caption and they will be clickable. Look at the preview. This is the coolest thing about scheduler is the preview. So if you click on it, you can actually see what the 
post will look like. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit of cutoff here, so I'll have to go back in and edit them. But this is just a perfect example of something where you think it might work out, but it might not. Like maybe this is the wrong dimension or something like that, or you know, you'll have to do some spacing. But I love this feature. So you can also schedule your first comment. So if you're one that puts like your hashtags in your first comment, that's that option is there for you as well. Now we all, all we have to do is do a publish date, 12 o'clock, and then we can schedule it like such. And here it is. And if we look at the weekly view, and then another great thing about schedule is that it has a drag and drop interface. So let's say you change your mind, you want to move it around, you can easily just drag and drop and it changes the date. It does not change the time. So if you want to adjust the time, you do have to go in and change that manually. You can also draft your posts. You can draft your post here so that it'll still show up on the day, but it won't post. And then you can also duplicate your post. You can also unschedule it, which if we do that, it'll actually bring it to this side menu right here. You can just drag them from this menu here and go over here and they will go into there. Bye-bye!